So now after hurting my hand, I can use that as, that as an excuse to have other people do the digging. So Rico's out here wearing himself out on this trench. We're about to start hooking up our plumbing soon on these barrels. And then we'll run this extra run past the barrels to have a little leach field out here. So we just got the first barrel connected. The plumbing coming out from the building is connected into the first barrel. And then on the inside, if I can open it, <laughs> I can't. So on the inside we have this T where the water will go down into the barrel and whatever else comes with the water. And this T is down further where when the barrel fills up and overflows into the second barrel, it doesn't back up into the first pipe. It just, it just flows down here. These little arrows with the word up is just to remind us to keep the, the uh, T straight up and down. And that's just showing that it's correct. So the second barrel is gonna sit down about two inches lower than the first barrel. They both, they both have a high inlet and a low outlet. So the low outlet on this one comes into the high inlet on the next one. And then two inches lower is the outlet on the second barrel. So this one can only overflow into the second and the second one can over, only overflow into our trench, which will have some black pipe to uh, let the water soak into the ground. So that'll be our leach field where the mostly clean liquid comes out. Now the black pipe is connected and going into our ditch and we've covered that with gravel. And now we're gonna put a landscaping fabric on top of it and put dirt on there. The wind blew over the Starlink antenna the other day and it was just aligned very weird. So I'm trying to get it to reinitiate itself. I unplugged the router and plugged it back in and now it looks like it's, it's responding. It says it takes about 15 minutes for it to go through its setup, but it was facing, it was facing straight out that way and now it finally set itself up like a tabletop there we go so it does all that on its own looking for satellites to have a nice clean look on the inside I ran this pipe out here on the outside of the shower and we got our propane tank. I haven't started testing the hot water yet, but everything's all set for that. We tested the water this morning. Everything is holding except for this fitting right here was not holding. So I had to replace it with this triple piece of brass connectors. Who knows? This probably... 15, $20 worth of parts just to get that one connection. <laughs> the problem is the company that makes this thing, they actually threaded their fittings different than just standard size threads. So I could not get a connection on there that wouldn't leak. So I had to use their part, which is threaded to a garden hose. So I had this garden hose fitting and then that went to a PEX fitting. Crazy. Oh, I need some batteries for that thing. But now we're working. I'm not gonna spray it in here yet since we don't have the drain quite fixed yet, but we got water running through there. We've got water at the sink. Like I said, the other side doesn't work because we aren't running hot water in here. And the toilet. So 
today's a great day for plumbing. So down here at the septic tank, I really need to let that thing fill up with water. Actually, that's probably what I should do right now. But uh, I'm using, uh, so we got a screw. We, we had to open up the tops of the barrels in order to install the plumbing. So now I need to close this up so we don't get dirt in it, obviously. But then I don't want to put a block of wood under there to screw into, so I found this plastic. I don't even know where in the world we got this from. And I cut it to the right size to put a block in the back. So that's what I've done here. And then I don't know, I'll put uh, something over the top just to keep dirt from seeping in through the seams. We won't get much dirt through there, but you know, over the next 10 years or something, maybe there'd be enough to mess up the capacity. I don't know. That's all buried. But another reason to fill up the barrels full of water is to keep them tight when we're putting the dirt in because we don't want the dirt to squeeze the barrels and also mess up the capacity of the barrels. So this is not a terrible view for the outside from the back. The view from the woods, which people won't be looking at it from the woods very often. And I maybe went a little too quick coming in. Got my, my door built for the shower, which we just zoomed in here a minute ago. I put uh, strips of wood on all the gaps. But it makes a really nice look. And it's also uh, gives it privacy. I guess probably the only privacy thing left to do is to put something over this hole. I decided not to put in this wall yet. I was gonna put a wall across here with a door. So you got like a dressing area. So then it'd be the dressing area behind me here and the shower on the other side. And I was gonna build that wall right here on this gap because it lines up just right. But I've decided for now we're having a lot of people over in a couple of days and I've decided for now it's just gonna be one big open space. And I might just change my mind and leave it this way. We'll see. Got the uh, shower head up, which I just gave you a whirlwind glimpse of that. I'm excited about it. I gotta get that drain in. And I really wanna make this uh, mesh wooden floor to stand on instead of just standing on this kind of rough looking concrete. Okay, I got those barrels most of the way dug in. And now I'm gonna just throw some roofing that I had laying around on those covers. Some of this asphalt and I'm gonna double it up and cover that and then uh, finish piling some dirt on it. Starting to get late in the afternoon and I'm working on electrical. So I got my mess of wires going here and there. Okay, got the light going, outlet, light switch. And I've got a wire going outside to the shower area out here. I'm gonna put a light out there. Working in the evening again. I'm making a wood floor for the shower. So I'm putting that, putting together these slats. Just kind of inventing it as I go. I'm making two inch wide slats with an inch space in between. I, I walked on it barefoot and it feels comfortable. I just uh, spaced out a couple of beams on each side. So the middle will be a little bit springy. I'm uh, sanding the edges of the board smooth, but that's on the bottom because I'm building it upside down so I can put my screws in from the back. And since they're epoxy coated screws, they should last a long time. The wood, I really don't know how long it'll last. These slats are just spacers to set it on top of while I'm working on it, so I'm, it's not on the dirty floor. We 
had a really nice event. Had a good time. I'm back in the picnic shelter just to listen to the rain for a few minutes. For our uh, seating, we didn't have enough chairs, so we took these uh, bales of hay and put uh, straps, cargo straps around them to hold them together really well. We got these moving blankets from Harbor Freight. They're a pretty good price and they were on sale at the time, so saved a little bit more. <laughs> but uh, some people said that sitting on these were more comfortable than sitting on the chairs. I had brought this uh, gravel from Caleb's house that was left over after pouring the slab and made a little path to go back here to the bathroom. Also a string of lights, which I could probably go ahead and unplug now. Looks like my drainage is doing pretty good. I see a little bit of water coming through, but mostly the water's coming down here and working its way out. I think maybe a little bit of water might be getting trapped right there. I might have to rework that pipe. But I just wanted to show you that I did get the shower floor completed. So that came out really nice, putting all those slats together. And it's just really comfortable to stand on when you're taking a shower instead of just raw concrete. Gives it a nice rustic but comfortable feel. I added these little hooks to give a place to hang your towels. We got a little bin with uh, some towels and some soap and stuff in it. And I did finish that light the other night. Got it working. It's a fun project and I think we'll really enjoy it for a long time. <laughs>